Revi'i Parshas Mitzorah. In Revi'i, we are introduced to a new form of Tsaras, known as Tsaras Habayas. This manifests itself as a discoloration upon one's walls of one's house and reflects certain transgressions committed by the homeowner. The purification process of the house often results in its complete destruction. Rashi cites a medrash that teaches that upon the destruction of the house, precious gems, gold and silver hidden in the walls by the Amorim, the Amorites who inhabited Eretz Canaan prior to Israel entering land would be found. And the commentaries question that this would be a, seem to be an example of Chota Niskar, that a transgressor is being rewarded for bad behavior. How do we understand this? When Hashem punishes, it's not just to be punitive in nature, but rather it is to be corrective. He wants us to stop being self-destructive and change our ways. Now, very often when people are being criticized, they don't accept criticism gra graciously. In fact, what happens is the opposite that by criticizing a person for negative behavior, that causes the behavior to be more entrenched. You go over to somebody and you shush him sitting, standing next to you in shul, he'll talk even more because he thinks to himself, why are you shushing me? Why don't you shush the guy on the other side of the shul? It's not because, because you don't really care about me that I'm talking in shul, that it's hurting my own davening, it's that my talking is bothering you. So if criticism is being levied, not for the benefit of the transgressor, but just because that person who is uh, exhibiting this bad behavior is bothering you, almost always that criticism will not be accepted. In fact, it'll have the opposite effect. And in, in fact, most times that is how criticism is given. So the question is, so how? How can you criticize someone for bad behavior that'll have an, a corrective effect and not actually entrench the behavior? So the chat is as follows is that the only really way that you can give criticism in a manner that will be accepted if it's clear to the individual who is the recipient of, the recipient of this criticism that it's being done out of love for him and care for him. So HaKadosh Baruch Hu is doing the same thing. Punishing the person through Tzaras bias is criticizing him that he has to change his ways. HaKadosh Baruch Hu shows him that when he destroys his house, that he'll have the jewels, the gold, the silver, he'll have the funds to be able to re rebuild. He now understands that HaKadosh Baruch Hu is doing this because he loves me and he wants me to change my ways. And therefore, it now has the effect, the punitive impact will be corrective as well because he sees Hashem loves him by letting him find these jewels. Hashem does it in such a way that he now will embrace and accept the punishment and change his ways.